Hey, my legion. How y'all doing today? I got a movie review, double feature movie review for you. I was actually planning on doing some more, but I mean, I got a whole bunch of stuff happened. Like, I was doing taxes and stuff like that, and things just got away from me. Um, no bad news with the taxes, though, which is good. Um, as far, I mean, I thought I mentioned something about the weather. Um, I'm recording this on a Sunday, so I don't know how the future is going to be, but I, I thought I'd mention this. I'll probably put this on a Wednesday. Uh, we, like I said, we got a lot of snow over another foot. Uh, Thursday and a Friday, and it snowed all Friday, pretty much. And driving one in the road condition weren't the best. And then Saturday, it snowed a little bit. and made another inch or two, like, Friday night and a Saturday. It wasn't too bad. And then it was all right. And it was weird, and then it didn't snow at all Sunday. Sunday, sunshine, but I mean... Uh, it was slightly above freezing, so you see, like, you hear snow coming off the roof of the trailer, right? And my cat usually lays on it. It freaks my cat out. I know when my nephew was little, he used to come over here. When uh, my niece and nephew come over here and dad would watch them, they don't come over barely at all anymore. Uh, it used to freak my nephew out when the, he'd hear the snow come out when he was little. And it freaks my cat out. She usually runs away. And then she sleeps. She usually sleeps on the one couch over there. Now she sleeps on the couch. I usually lay down and watch TV. Because it's right where the front porch is. And you hear there's a big roof. You don't hear the stuff coming off as much. Um, anyways. You know, Monday and Tuesday. It's, Monday through Wednesday is supposed to snow all week. I mean, well, it's supposed to snow all Monday through Wednesday. And then we're supposed to have a warm up Friday. Now, I'm recording this Sunday, so I don't know how the future is going to be, how much it's going to snow those three days, but I thought I'd at least mention it. And it's supposed to warm up Friday being like 49, 50 degrees, so see what happens. Well, anyways, the movies I want to review are a movie called Bad Milo and one called Wind of the World, which is an old, old uh, Italian film. Now, Bad Milo was made in 2013. I heard about that on Looper. They said it was on uh, Netflix. I went on Netflix. It's not on there. And my friend John would say how hilarious it was. I ended up watching it. Uh, I can't remember if it was on Amazon or something like that. And it was uh, about this guy that every time we get... It's a comedy. Patrick Walbarton's in it. He had a small part in it. But he's always good and funny in his movies. He's got that voice that lends him... Uh, he's in a whole bunch of stuff. And, you know, he's always like in like uh, doing voice for cartoons and stuff like that. And this revolves around this guy. Every time he gets stressed out, he has incredible stomach pain. And he craps a lot. And then he craps out a monster that kills people when he gets stressed out. And they said, uh, Looper said, this is the best movie where someone, a monster comes out of someone's butt. And he says, sorry, Dreamcatcher. Dreamcatcher was messed up. I remember getting Dreamcatcher a long time ago. Well, not the best movie in the world. Um, and this one is plays based on comedy. Uh, there's some really funny parts in it, and uh, I really enjoyed it. Because I mean, it's just, and the monster looks like uh, there might have been a little CGI showing in the blink of his eye, but it looks like those uh, monsters from like Ghoulies. Not quite as good Gremlins, but like Ghoulies and stuff like that. Low budget '80s. It brings back an '80s vibe to it, with like bathroom humor type stuff. And I, I enjoyed it. It's a lot of fun. The acting is pretty good. The guy is very good at con uh, conveying pain whenever he uses the bathroom and stuff like that. You know, it's it's tough. It's, it has to be physically demanding trying to be act like you're in that much pain. And I've been there. Anyone who's used the bathroom and stuff like that has been there. Like I did that spicy habanero uh, chicken on rice. And usually with the hot stuff, I don't. I haven't had the last few things people ask me how it was in the bathroom. It hasn't been that bad. This time it was bad with that. Now, with the one chip challenge, well, I had burning in the kidneys from uh, the milk I drank with that, and uh, ramen noodle challenge didn't give me any real problems or anything like that, even though it was hot. But the uh, spicy habanero chicken on rice gave me a lot of problems. So, I mean, any guy or girl who's been there eating hot food or having uh, an upset stomach's been in that position. So, you know, I mean, I feel that, but I mean, different. You know, with a giant monster coming out of your butt, it's pretty bad. 
But I, I really enjoyed the movie. I give that a give that a nine out of ten. Sometimes the effects are cheesy, but I think it's a throwback to eighties horror films. Those eighty monster movies like Munchie. I mean, Gremlins had money behind it, so they weren't as bad. But like Munchie and Ghoulies and stuff like that, and Critters kind of. So I give that eight out of ten. Now next is uh, well nine out of ten. Next is Women of the World, and uh, Women of the World was uh, one of the sequels off the movie uh, Mondo Kane, which was Mondo Kane is uh, listed as like the very first documentary made in 62. Uh, French Italian uh, production or just Italian, I can't remember. But the one thing with uh, Mondo Kane, there was a movie I saw, I, I remember getting, uh, oh cool. Uh, oh, now I lost track. Roland Mendoza said green tea in general is my delicious. My favorite is Arizona. I like the Arizona green tea. It's really good. Um, that's for that green tea ginger ale I did a review of. Um, I, I remember renting a very hard to find movie called Master of the Congo Jungle in 1958, and that's a, that has lots of shocking moments in that. As far as I'm narrated by Orson Welles, so the, I think that's the shocking man that came out a couple years before that. You know, and then, uh, of course, the shock may end up becoming stuff like Shocking Age, Face of the Death, Trace of the Death, and stuff. And then uh, it got to the point where, like, the newer ones, like or Death Files, Red, Yellow, Black, it got to the point where those ones were just showed, like, the same footage over and over again, like the newer ones, if you ever see them. But there's not, there's some death in Women of the World, but basically what, I mean, those, the Mono movies are a little bit different. It shows, like, bizarre stuff around the world. And, uh, kind of like what you'd see on Ripley's Believe or Not, kind of. I remember getting original Mono Kane, seeing that in Germany, finally. And then, uh, Mono Kane 2. Uh, the C version of Mono Kane 2 I had was, like, setting, I, that might have been a censored version. I, and then, I, that was end up being Mono Pazzo. I always thought, and so that's Mono Kane 2. I, I didn't know that. And, uh, with Win the World, it's like a thing about women... Throughout, you know, this, and even they go to the states showing like the 15 cent weddings at Las Vegas, and then in the daytime they have divorce court and very bizarre stuff. And there's parts where it drags, though. I mean, usually I haven't seen a shock man in a long time. I remember getting Mondo Bellardo, which I really like. Boris Karloff did the narration that, and my dad said, I ain't watch that stupid thing. He watched a little bit, and he said, I won't watch it anymore. But that was a really good one. This one is pretty good. But it drags an area, and it's not like politically correct. A lot of parts of it because it's made '63. Uh, people think it's tame. Uh, there was some stuff. It gets really sad and depressing towards the last 20 minutes, uh, and a little bothers some. I mean, there was some messed up stuff throughout the movie. I, for the most part, I enjoyed it. But I mean, it's like women through culture. Some of it was really funny. Like they had like the these. Uh, Guys on this one uh, island did the no marriage dance. That was kind of funny. They're like singing the tongue. Blah, 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 blah. It's really weird. A very bizarre film. But for the most part, interesting, but it drags some. So I give Women in the World a 7 out of 10. So I hope you like this uh, double feature movie thingy I did. I'll probably put this up Wednesday at 6 o'clock. So like I said, I don't know how the weather situation's going to be Monday, Tuesday, one day if we're going to have a ton of snow or not. I'm just telling you what I heard on the Weather Channel. Well, on the, not the, I don't watch the Weather Channel. On the local uh, news. I'm reporting this Sunday. I'm just letting you know what's going on. And then, if, you know, if the weather gets really horrible, I'll, I'll probably do an update or something like that, maybe. But it's supposed to warm up Friday, hopefully. The 49th. Cause like we had like mild temperatures, for not all for kind of in February and stuff like that. Like I wore shorts that one day, but I mean now, yeah, it's back to winter weather. So I don't know how much it's gonna snow the next three days. Put a bunch of one. Let's see. I got some. Thank you, Nathan. Nathan Carter.
Oh, cool. They watch Licorice Pipe. Oh, that's awesome. So. So. Until next time, bye, please. See, I get distracted. Take care of my legion. Because what happens is, with this new uh, thing is, you know, you'll do a video and all of a sudden I'll put like a comment. Like right over that, I mean, it's weird clear as day. Could you let us have the bell go out red or something like that? Or they'll have a Facebook if someone puts a message or something like that. Um, so, I mean, it's very, if you're doing a video and stuff like that, like I'm doing a webcam video. So I hope you like this video, everybody. And until next time, bye, please. Take care of my legion. Okay, I think that's better.